Duplicate zeros. Given a list of integers, duplicate each occurrence of zero, shifting the remaining elements to the right. For example, this first occurrence zero, we duplicate the zero and make space for it by shifting the elements to the right, and this removes the last element. Again, we find the next occurrence of zero, we duplicate the zero and make space for it by shifting the elements to the right, and this removes the last element. We must perform these modifications in place to the input array. We will solve this in O of n time. Consider this new example. First, we will get the length of the array as n, and we count the number of zeros in the array. We then work backwards and have a pointer i at the end of the array, and we are going to assume we had two extra spaces for the duplicate zeros, and we have another pointer j at the end of this virtual array, and while i is less than j, if array at i equals zero, we potentially need to duplicate the zero so we subtract j by one. In this case, we do not have to duplicate, so at the end of the loop, we subtract i and j by one. Now if index j j is less than n, we set array at j equaling the value at array at i. And lastly, we decrement i and j by 1. Again, index j is less than n, so we set the value at array of j equaling the value at array of i. And we decrement i and j by 1. Since index j is less than n, we set the value at array of j equaling the value at array of i. And notice array of i equals 0, so we subtract j by 1. And if j happens to be less than n, a small edge case can occur, so we set array of j equaling 0. And lastly, we subtract i and j by 1. And now since i is no longer less than j, we stop the algorithm and the input array will be correctly modified. And here's the code to do so. Please like and follow for more.